This morning on The Dish, a star of the San Diego dining scene, Anthony Wells, was born far from the West Coast in the mountain state of West Virginia, heading off to culinary school in San Francisco at just 18 years old. He scored jobs at some top restaurants, including Thomas Keller's Per Se, here in New York, before becoming executive chef at San Diego's Juniper and Ivy. With an emphasis on fresh-caught local seafood and seasonal ingredients, it's also known for plated dishes that are works of art and was just recognized with a Bib Gourmand Award from the famed Michelin Guide. And Chef Anthony Wells, good morning to you. Welcome to The Dish. Thank you. It's great to be here. Describe all this business here. <laughs> uh, so we have a few dishes that we serve at the restaurant. Um, we have barbecued carrots. We make a little chimichurri with the tops of the carrots. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, some pickled apricots and some toasted peanuts. There's a roasted potatoes with a cheddar cheese sauce, Yummy. Um, mm. pickled yeah. onions, and some fried potatoes that kind of remind you of the bottom of the Lay's potato chip. Oh, bag. nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a little version of linguine and clams with uh, cream corn, some smoked pork belly, a little bit of shrimp, and Calabrian chilies. And then we have a whole roasted chicken with a smoked almond, salsa verde, and Dessert? And dessert, of course. Date sticky toffee pudding cake. Wow. And this is this? Banana. What is this? And a passion fruit gin and tonic. Uh, oh, cheers passion to that. Passion fruit gin and tonic, Ooh, cheers. I got a cheers. So, Anthony, is it true cheers that it was oh, a TV commercial that set you on this path in the culinary world? We missed, we missed here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sort of, yeah. It was a TV show. Uh, Chef Richard Blaze was, when he was on Top Chef, he was a uh, pretty big inspiration to me and I when he won I just really wanted to work with him and so I sent him an email and <laughs> sure enough he replied within a couple hours and I moved to Atlanta and the rest was history. What, I, what did that email say? It basically was just congratulations on winning the show I've kind of followed the whole season I loved all of your little quirkiness and your thoughtfulness of food. You grew up in West Virginia, um, right? Correct. So I, but this, I mean, and, but you've you've brought this left coast cooking, you know, into your life and into your business now because this certainly looks more like San Diego cooking, I think. Well, we just have wonderful product, 365 days a year, and we at the restaurant we've just made a lot of wonderful relationships, and they just bring us top of the line product every day. So it's, the menu just writes itself. But, but you've been credited with changing or recreating modern Southern Californian cuisine or establishing it. I think establishing it, yeah, helping it out, uh, yes. And how did you do it? I mean, what is it that's different? Um, just persistency, you know, it's a lot of hard work and you got to know the right people and you got to be able to get a hold of the right people mm -hmm. and you need to be willing to use their product whether they have a ton of product that oh, day wow. or a little bit of product that day but we through the good times and the bad times we're always very supportive of of all of the local fishermen farmers sustainability has been a really big thing for you now yeah. oh absolutely why is that so important to you if not, the food's gonna run out. So we need to make sure that we're utilizing every little bit of whether it's the carrot or the fish or the pig. So we just try and utilize those odds and ends that normally most restaurants don't use. And yeah. we're pretty, we got pretty good at creating beautiful dishes out of them. What is it that you love about cooking? Probably just the camaraderie of working with all of the the men and women in the kitchen. It's, we've really created a family atmosphere at Juniper and Ivy and just, I get excited to see the guys and girls every day. And it's just, it, it's special when it all comes together. I'm gonna cool. have you sign the dish mm. and ask you if you could have this meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? Well, the owner of the restaurant wanted me to come on this so much. So I wanna give a shout out Aww. to Mike Rosen. Aww. And if I could sit down and have this meal with anybody, it would be you, Mike. I wish Aww, you were here with me. So so, uh, <laughs> Mike and Anthony. <laughs> Coming to a restaurant near you. That's right. <laughs> Chef Anthony Wells, thank you very much. And if you want more on Chef Wells or the dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.